What's going on investors? In today's video, we're gonna be going over our latest Airbnb that's gonna be a long-term rental. So that means that we're gonna do this at 30 plus days at a time because the city has some certain ordinances. So come on, let's hop inside and take a look around. So the first thing you're gonna notice is we have this smart doorbell here with a camera. So we're gonna be able to see who comes in and out of the property. We also have a smart lock here so that we can give access to anyone who needs to come to the property without having to physically give them keys. So that way we just give them a code, they can come inside, and then when they leave, we can cancel their code. Now as you can see, we did a lot of work renovating this property. So it now looks super clean, it looks really modern, fresh. We have a nice TV here. We have a nice little extra here that we took from our other Airbnb before. We have some bookshelves here for them in case they want to read. And here in the kitchen, we have a dining table here. We have a guidebook for anyone that needs to check out and see what's good with this property. We also have some gifts for them, a Wi-Fi password. The kitchen was completely clean just a few days ago. We have a new coffee mug here for them, hot water heater, new stove, microwave and toaster. This refrigerator used to be disgusting, but now it's completely cleaned out. So our cleaners did a great job here. Downstairs, we're gonna limit it only to the laundry room because we do have some of our personal stuff in this home. So this is actually our personal home that we are converting into an Airbnb and we don't want them to go through all the stuff. I apologize in advance if I'm speaking a little bit quickly here, but our guests are set to arrive at any moment now. All right, going to the first room, we can see that we took some liberties and uh, added some nice photos here and here. We also have the bed here. It looks very clean with different towels here. But I think in the future, we might add like a runner here just to add some pops and color. And of course, every room also has their own TV. Everyone also has a lot of closet space too. So it's also very nice. Okay, walking through here, check out the first bathroom. This is a hallway bathroom. And you might have seen from our other videos, we've done some work renovating this thing. Like this was an old mirror. We just painted it black, painted these fixtures black, and now it looks very fresh. We added these a few months ago as well. And that's about it for this bathroom. All right, moving along to another room. We have this one. So this was our original Airbnb room. And now it's just a normal room. As you can see here, it just looks nice. Nice and clean. Oh, we have this hallway with some of the uh, extra materials in case anyone needs it. And finally, we're gonna go into the master, master bedroom. Again, it's very nice. Originally, we had just a box spring here, but it's good enough for me, but not good enough for guests. So we did buy this extra like mattress or bed frame that goes on top. So, I mean, it looks a little bit nicer too. Two lights, two bed posts, you know, nothing too fancy here. Closet space, a lot of closet space for people. In case you wanna put some stuff up. Make sure nothing's crazy in there. I mean, it's basically it. it took a lot of effort to make this thing turn out right. So I'm happy that at the very last moment, everything worked out well and we're basically done here. Even like this bathroom here, this was a brand new addition. Like we just got this finished. So you can see you got a new vanity here, new mirrors, new lighting fixtures, new toilet, and new shower. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Everyone did a great job. It was a lot of work for everybody. And honestly, I'm happy that this is done. I'm happy that everything looks great. You know, yeah, happy that everything looks great. Everything turned out well. Hopefully the guests do enjoy this place. Um, a little bit of information about this property. We are doing it as a 30 day rental because of the city ordinances. In this city, if you want to rent through Airbnb, you need to get a permit for this place. And to get a permit, you need to actually live in the property and you can only rent out a few bedrooms at a time. So you can't actually rent out the whole place. Well, we're going to be moving. So that's not going to work for us. And that's why by renting out 30 days at a time, you kind of bypass all that and you don't have to worry about um, getting caught up with the uh, city ordinances. All right, I apologize again for the short video, you guys. Again, I just want to show you guys my Airbnb project before it goes live and before I can't come inside here anymore. And it's always fun to look back at your properties what they used to look like in the past. I'm gonna miss this house, you know, this is the house I grew up in. And here we are 30 years later, renting it out for the first time to complete strangers. So yeah, I hope they do enjoy this. You know, we are gonna be moving to Dallas in the near future. We're moving out of the Bay Area. And in the meantime, we're keeping this property because Bay Area real estate is the best. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Again, sorry, it was short and kind of uh, impromptu and abrupt, but I am basically at the last minute before the guests come here. So I wanna get this done and uh, get out here ASAP. So thanks again for watching this video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, please smash like button to let YouTube know that you guys like videos just like this one. And I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to see more videos where I teach you more about how to invest in real estate. So if you guys have any questions about real estate investing or about Airbnb or about flipping or hard money loans, feel free to leave a comment down in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Take care.